this is a quick video for Stefan. Uh, he was wanting to do some dovetails and dimension the dovetails. Uh, if you've seen Pierre's video on how to do dovetails, this is pretty much... Uh, his video on how to dimension dovetails, this is pretty much the, um, the, the same method as measuring a dovetail except that we get to pick our measurement. Uh, let's put in a dowel pin of 5 millimeters because that's the size of pin I've got. We'll make it a construction line. And then we will use the tangent constraint to constrain it to the bottom, bottom of our dovetail here. And then we'll use that tangent constraint again to push it into the corner. And then let's do a line out here, we'll make it perpendicular, we'll make it a construction line, and we will also constrain it to the circle, or we're sort of constraining the whole thing to each other, but this line is going to represent what we're going to be dimensioning here. And now we will mirror, we'll select both these components and we will mirror them across this mirror line here on the right. So we've got them mirrored. And finally, we will set the distance to be a nice round number of say 64 millimeters. Uh, suppose we wanted to do the inside inside dimensions. We can do a circle on the inside and just constrain it to there like that. Now let's get rid of So this line would be either, say, an internal micrometer or a gauge block stack. And we go mirror across. And we can set our gauge block stack height to 50. Oh, and the reason why they're not fully constrained yet is because I didn't set the diameter of the internal gauge pins. Now everything's all fully constrained. Um, so there we go. Thank you for watching.